Hello YouTube. I am author and freelance writer Zachary Fennell. It's my erratic presence both here making new videos and over at my personal blog Indicate. My 2014 has started off very lackluster. Rather than dwelling on excuses or failures though, I say let's move forward. Anyone who pays attention to me knows I'm a huge Cleveland Indians fan. Huge. No surprise then, I want to take some time today to talk about the Indians' upcoming season which starts Monday, March 31st in Oakland. Like every other 2014 Tribe Preview mentions, the Indians went from an incredibly exciting offseason in the winter of 2012 to a very quiet one this past winter. But when you think about it, that makes sense. I, for one, didn't expect another free agent signing the caliber of Nick Swisher or Michael Bourne. Instead, the Tribe did their best to complement the team's core by signing closer John Axford and right fielder David Murphy. Trading Drew Stubbs for lefty specialist Josh Outman will be important too. Losing reliever Joe Smith and stutters Abaldo Jimenez and Scott Kazmir to free agency I expected, so uh, it's not a big deal to me. My interest for the past offseason was on if the team could secure the current core through multi-year contract extensions. Signing left fielder Michael Brantley to a four-year $25 million deal worked towards that mission. Two other key players I wanted to see in extensions were second baseman Jason Kipnis and ace Justin Masterson. Considering Masterson hits the free agency market after this year, I was extremely disappointed he and the Indians couldn't come to terms on a three or a four year deal. The Cleveland media had my hopes up too, man. At day's end, I guess that's why I stopped cheering for the names on the back of the jerseys. Eventually, players go elsewhere. At this point, I think the Indians' best hope at retaining Masty involves a lengthy playoff run in 2014. But do my beloved Indians possess the makeup for that? I say yes if the young starting pitching uh, Corey Kluber, Danny Salazar, Zach McAllister stay healthy and maintain or improve off of last year. Not having a veteran starter outside of Masterson does make me nervous. If Aaron Harang would have won the fifth rotation spot, I'd feel less anxious about the starting rotation, but oh well. Having starter Josh Tomlin back from Tommy John surgery will be helpful at some point during the season. Overlooked because he won't be on the 25-man roster opening day, Tomlin is a reliable back end of the rotation guy and someone you can call up when an injury occurs and let's face it an injury will occur at some point you not many teams can get through a season with only using five starters so it's important to have Tomlin as that extra another pitcher I believe uh, being overlooked is uh, Vinny Pistano I predict Pistano will pitch his way back to being the setup man um, if Axford struggles as the closer I can even see Vinny taking over that spot. Position player wise, I am looking to wit I'm looking forward to witnessing David Murphy enjoy a bounce back year. Carlos Santana game playing time at third base will be interesting to say the least. Twenty fourteen will be an endurance test for Jan Gomes to see if he can handle being the starting catcher for an entire season. He pretty much had that role by uh, the second half of last year, and he did well with it. But, you know, it's a physically demanding position, and let's see how it affects Jan over an entire season versus just a half. Not rushing center fielder Michael Bourne through his current hamstring issue is important to get him back completely healthy. Estrubal Cabrera should have an up year given he will be playing for a contract in 2015 and beyond. With the Indians' wealth of infield prospects, 
middle infield prospects. I don't see the club re-signing Cabrera after the season. Okay, now I'm getting into the next offseason, which means I need to cut myself off. Your turn. Tell me what you think about the rapidly approaching season. Create your own video or leave your comment below. If you need something to occupy your time until now and when the season starts, I, re I would like to recommend downloading my book Off Balance to your Kindle, Nook, or iPad via the free Kindle app. Off Balance is my teenage memoir exploring how the neurological disability cerebral palsy, CP for short, affected me so socially throughout adolescence. Uh, through, you know, in that journey, you also you know, you will learn how CP and then my fandom for the Indians helped lead me to get into writing in the first place. So uh, thanks for watching this video and go tribe.